One third of older adults fall every year, half of whom are recurrent fallers. The loss of independence can have serious implications, including the loss of, uh, loss of functional mobility and reduced quality of life. The timed up and go, otherwise known as the tug, is a commonly used functional mobility assessment tool. It's timed and the participant is asked to get up from the chair, walk three meters, turn around, walk back and sit down. The tug cognitive involves the same walking task while counting backwards by threes and the tug manual involves the same walking task while carrying a tray with a cup full of water. Limited research has shown significant improvements in the tug after balance training with pilot studies suggesting that cognitive training shows further benefits to functional mobility. However, it is unknown whether these improvements are indeed a result of the training or a result of the repeated exposure due to the, uh, due to the pre to post testing session. Therefore, the overarching uh, purpose of this study was to compare uh, 12 weeks of balance and mobility training, as shown as the BMT, or 12 weeks of balance and mobility plus cognitive training, as shown as the BMT plus C, would improve the tug tasks and sustain these improvements after a 12-week follow-up compared to the control group. Since the tug tasks were tested across testing sessions, a pilot study was also conducted to determine the repeated exposure of the tug task once per week for five weeks in 10 healthy older adults. For the randomized control trial, 49 healthy older adults were randomly assigned to either training group or the control group who received no training. Both training groups exercised one-on-one -on -one for one hour, three times per week for 12 weeks. The training was performed on an obstacle course while performing a concurrent manual task such as catching and throwing a ball. The balance and mobility plus cognitive training group also received concurrent cognitive training such as spelling. All participants were tested at baseline after 12 weeks and after a 12 week follow up. Results revealed significant improvements in both training groups after the intervention and sustained improvements after the 12 week follow up compared to the control group. We are confident that these results are not a function of repeated exposure as the tug tasks were stable across the five testing sessions in the pre-experiment. In sum, 12 weeks of balance and mobility training with or without concurrent cognitive training results in improved functional mobility in healthy older adults. Thank you.